Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this section of the course, we're going to be taking a look at how we can link tables to other access databases. So we're going to start out by just discussing the background of this. We're going to take a look at importing and linking. I'm going to show you how to create relationships between linked tables, how you can use the linked table manager, and also how you can remove a link. So let's start by discussing the background of this. Now, as most of us already know, Access has been around for a very long time. And back in the day, it used to be based on a single file, and it was very much a desktop based system. So one file would contain all of the tables, all of the queries, all of the reports, etc. But as time went on, this restriction became more and more difficult to manage as more people started to use the file giving them all access to one file and keeping all of the changes in step has become a lot more important. Now, another factor to consider as access databases became more significant, they very often housed data that was useful to other databases, other applications. So it became more important to be able to access access data from other databases. Now let's take a look at our Northwind Traders database as a quick example. Now this database contains all of the information about invoices and purchase orders, various forms and reports, but it also contains information about customers. And customer information is widely used data in business. So to demonstrate linking other tables, we're going to create a tiny demo database. See it as the early stages of some kind of CRM system. And in doing that, I'm going to access the customer information from the Northwind database. So let's open up the customers table. Now notice here that each customer has a unique ID and the customer in this particular example is actually a company. So what we're going to do first is create ourselves a new database. Remember this database is going to be very, very small. So let's close down Northwind traders and we're simply going to create a new blank database. So let's give our database a name and I'm going to add CRM to the name of this particular database just so we can identify it easily. And I'm going to save it into the course files folder. Let's click on create. So there is my file. It just has one table in it, table one. Let's right click and jump into design view. And we're going to give this table a name. Let's call it tuple customer contact and click on OK. So now I can start to go through and add in my fields. And as I said, these fields are going to be related to the types of interaction that I have with my customers. Now, by this stage, you should know how to add fields into a table. So I'm going to do that off camera. Join me back here in a couple of moments. So there are my fields. We have an ID field, which is going to be auto numbered as we add more records. Our customer ID is going to be a number. Our contact type is going to be short text. Contact date is date and time. And then we have some notes. Now, this isn't a required field. Remember, it's a long text field, so it's also not indexed. But we're going to have a field for notes in case we need to add any. So each customer record in this table is going to have a unique ID. And that customer ID must correspond to an existing customer. Now, at the moment, we have no customer details, but we're going to access the customer IDs from the Northwind Traders database. So we're effectively going to create a link here and we're simply going to focus on the customer ID field. Now, given that we need to access data in another database, we're going to just close down our customer contact table. We're going to jump up to the external data tab, and this is the group we want import and link. So if we select new data source from database, we can link to another table in a different access database. So let's choose this option. Now, the first thing we need to do here is just browse for the database where the table that we want to link to is located. Now I have mine saved off into the course files folder. You might have yours saved in a different location. So just browse to wherever makes sense for you. Now, one thing to note at this stage is that if you were to move this database into a different folder, it is going to cause problems. And I am going to talk through that problem 
towards the end of this lesson. So now we've selected where our file is, we have two options. And this is where we specify how and where we want to store the data in the current database. So do we want to import tables, queries, forms, reports, macros and modules into the current database? So importing them is going to move those tables into this database. Do we want to do that or do we just want to link to the data source by creating a linked table? Now, if we choose link, which is the option that we want in this scenario, Access will create a table that will maintain a link to the source data. And that's exactly what we want because we're linking to the Northwind Traders database. And there might be a whole bunch of people who constantly make updates to the particular table that we're linking to at Northwind Traders. So I don't want to have to re-import a copy of the table every single time somebody makes a change. I want it to update automatically. And if we choose to link, that's exactly what's going to happen. So this is the option that we want. Let's click on OK. And now we can choose which table in the Northwind Traders database we want to link to. So these are basically all of the tables from Northwind. So we want to link to the customers table. So we need to select that and click on OK. And notice what's happened here. If you take a look over in the navigation pane, we now have our original table, but we also have the customers table. Now notice it does look slightly different from the one above in the fact that we have a little blue arrow at the side. And that really just lets us know visually that this is a linked table. Now, before we go on any further, just a couple of important points to mention. Being able to do this in this way will very much depend on the security on the Northwind Traders database. So it might be that when you try to do this, you just don't have the correct level of access. A second point worth mentioning is that I sometimes rename these linked tables to remind me where the table is coming from. So instead of just customers, if I right click and go to rename, I want to make sure that I know that this is coming from Northwind Traders. So I'm going to add NWT underscore on the front there. Now that doesn't change the name of the table in the original location or anything like that. It is purely for your reference. So let's open up this table, double click, and we're going to jump straight into design view. Now notice straight away we get a warning message. It's basically telling me that this is a linked table whose design cannot be modified. So we can only modify the design of a table in the source database. But notice that we can open it anyway, regardless of that fact. So let's say yes to open anyway. And we can now see all of the fields within this table. Now let's select one of these fields. If I select the company field, for example, one thing to notice is in the bottom right hand corner, can you see it says this property cannot be modified in linked tables. So how much we can change in a linked table is very limited. Now let's close this table down. And let's go in and take a look at the relationships in the background. So if we jump up to database tools and open up relationships, I'm going to add both tables. Now notice over in the add tables window on the right hand side, one table is underneath links and the other table is underneath tables. And that's really just differentiated because one isn't native to the database that we're creating. So let's add both tables. I'm going to say add selected table, add selected table. Now, currently these tables are not linked in any way. So we need to create a relationship between the two tables. Now in the Northwind Traders customers table, the ID field is basically the customer ID field that we have in Tubble customer contact. So let's drag ID and link it to customer ID. Notice that this is a one to many relationship. But another interesting thing to note here is that when you're dealing with linked tables, you can't enforce referential integrity. So just be aware of that. Let's click on create. And we've now linked those two tables together. Now, the final thing I want to talk to you about in this particular lesson is the linked table manager. So let's jump across to the external data tab. And in the import and link group, notice we have an option for linked table manager. And this is going to basically show you any tables that you have linked. Now, what we can do in this window is we can select our link table. And when we click on refresh, that's going to refresh that link to make sure that that link is still valid. If we don't get any error messages, then we're all good. We can carry on with what we're doing. 
Now, if you click on the refresh button and you get an error message, it might be because the database that you're linking to has been moved to a different location. And I did mention this briefly towards the beginning of this lesson. So I'm going to go away and I'm just going to move the Northwind Traders database to a different folder in File Explorer. Then we'll refresh the link so we can see what happens. So I've moved this database just to my desktop so it's no longer in this folder. If I now select it and click on refresh, I'm going to get a message. It cannot find the file. Also, if I close down the link table manager and also close down this relationships window and try to open NWT customers again, I'm going to get the same message. But what we can do is use the linked table manager to relink this file. Notice we have a relink option. Let's click it and we can then browse to the folder location where the file now exists. Now, all I'm going to do here is simply move it back to its original location. So for me, that's the desktop. There is the file. I can select it, click on OK. It's telling me it's going to update all selected tables with the relinked data. That's fine. Let's click on yes. And now we have that new location. So when we click refresh, we should no longer get that error message and we should be able to open NWT customers. Now I'm just going to go away and move this file back to its original location off camera. So join me back here in a couple of moments once I've done that. The final point to mention here is how we can unlink a table. And this is really straightforward. Back into Linked Table Manager, we can select the link and we have a delete option over in the right hand menu. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.